where does the story go next? And there's obvious questions that they still have not answered when it comes to the reporting on this. Well, that's right, Sandra. Uh, I think the first question to answer is, as you just asked, where does the story go next? Uh, as we know, much of the media has been trying to avoid reporting on this uh, issue and this story. But I think the Tony Bobolinsky emails make it clear this is at least news. We are in the news business and that it is a, becoming a little difficult for the rest of the press to avoid the reality that we have a story here. We had these emails that first appeared on the laptop in the Delaware computer shop and now uh, uh, Tony Bobolinsky uh, has these emails as well that would appear to be corroborating the fact that Hunter Biden was involved in a significant financial deal with a big Chinese company related to uh, the Chinese government. And where it goes from here, you know, we just had Joe Biden saying there was nothing to this. Well, the question is, what is this? Are we talking about whether the question is Joe Biden as the big guy or whether, in fact, Hunter Biden's business deals are real? Is the Biden campaign and family literally denying that their son was not in the business deals described here with this Chinese entity? I doubt that, but I think we need more answers to those questions. When it comes to our intelligence committee um, chiming in and adding to the details of this story or confirming elements of this story. We know it made big news a couple days ago when the uh, director of national intelligence, Radcliffe, went on FBN talking to Maria Bartiromo and said this is not Russian disinformation. Uh, this, there is no evidence of that.